it was like late night for India and it was afternoon for USA, California. So he called, me, I mean, he started texting me. Basically, we were research friends, so we didn't really talk about personal lives much. We generally talked about research and science and, you know, all the intellectual stuff. So when he texted me that he needs me, so I knew that something was up. And I texted him back that what happened. And then he told me that he didn't tell me that he was raped at first. He just told me that he was bullied and assaulted. So I put him on hold because I was eating that time. I didn't know the seriousness of the situation. I asked him what happened and then he told me, uh, he, he didn't reveal that he was raped at first. He, he just told me that he was assaulted. And we were going on with the con conversation that he was assaulted. And then he later just broke down saying that he was drugged and he was taken to some uh, shady place, some room, and he was locked there. And then he was raped, he was assaulted, and then just left there. Um, and the guy, he, he didn't name him, but uh, the guy is from the same very prestigious institute of India. You mean college? University? Uh, it's called institute, yeah. This was a date, is that correct? Uh, this was, yeah, he basically went out on a date and then he was drugged. So, and th that's one of the problem because he went out on the date willingly. So it can be easily proven that like, you know, via text messages or via Facebook messages that he went to out willingly and it would be very easy to, you know, turn the case back on him. It is one of the primary reasons he's not pursuing legal action. This room, was it Was it a hotel room? He didn't specify, he didn't specify that. But I guess he did not know himself because he was not unconscious by the drug and then he was just taken to the room. But has he <laughs> spoken to any friends or family, like obviously you, but you know, therapists or someone who can yeah, help I, him? Yeah, so basically her sister, she's a lesbian and she came out to her parents like a few years ago and she's now settled in Vancouver. Okay. And I don't think his family is very accepting of his sister. So that that's another, you know, point for him to not come out to his parents. So she's currently settled in Vancouver and he probably video called her and asked what he should do. And then after contacting her, he contacted me. As for the therapy, he's, he joined a kickboxing class to, you know, vent out his anger and stuff. And Though I recommended him a therapist, he told that he just got a date from one of his age-old crushes in front of whom he broke down too. So that's going on for him and he doesn't want to see anyone else right now. Look, uh, I tried to convince him to take action but he's afraid a bit and he says that he needs some time because he's still reeling from the trauma. So as a friend, my, like, you know, as someone, if, if it would have happened to me, I would be crying out loud in every legal organization or NGO possible that yeah that person needs to be prosecuted but I mean everyone deals differently so uh, as a friend my only m motive right now is to keep him happy if dating a guy and talking to his friends and family and not opening up to anybody else keeps him happy for now that's fine he's still recovering once he recovers maybe I'll press him a bit harder to take some legal action because mm -hmm. that another that rapist cannot walk out free. He will just do it to more guys. Yeah, he will. <coughs> um, so was your was your friend injured? Was he hurt? Yes, some serious injury, I guess, in the back because he was hit, and probably he was mishandled while given the drug. So I didn't post all this, but yeah, so he had some injury in the back, and he's still recovering from that. So can you tell me his age? Yeah, he's nineteen. Yeah, same um, as me. Do his parents know he's gay? Uh, no, they don't. And he has no plans to come out yet anytime soon. Do you know about the conversation between him and his sister? His sister is basically very happy with the response that the post got, that India is changing a bit. Uh, but, you know, because he's a researcher and he is really good at research, it's very likely that he'll end up in USA or UK or Vancouver with his sister. And so his sister just wants him to uh, come out of India as soon as possible. I mean, that's explainable. That's the first defensive move she will tell. She's just happy that uh, there's no STDs or side effects of the drugs detected. So he got tested. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's thankful to the public response on the post. We, we were only thinking about STDs. We never thought about getting tested for the side effects of the drugs. So some NGO contacted me and told me to, like, 
him tested also for the drug. So he went in for the test and everything came out fine. Is he continuing to go to college classes? Is he just? Is he oh yeah, that's one of his escape. He's totally engrossed in in his research and all his script writing and stuff. That's one way to escape. 